Hi everyone. So this is my Papo C Creatures review. So as you can see, I got five different C Creatures. They're all from Papo. Those are, um, in my opinion, um, quite high in quality. So now let's take a look. So those five are the first one, this one is the great white shark, the second one is the killer whale, the third one is the whale shark, and then the fourth one is the sperm whale, and the last one and the biggest one is the blue whale. So as you can see from this angle, they are um they're kind of in scale but not exactly so uh, i mean in terms of size y yes they're in correct order so the blue whale is the biggest and then the sperm whale and then the whale shark killer whale and then the smallest one is the great white shark although the size comparison i mean the order is correct but they're not actually exactly accurate as you can see, the great white shark and the killer whale, they are pretty similar in size in this, um, for these two. So they are about the same length. So according to the website here, let's see. So the great white shark is 17.8 centimeters long and weights 0 0.12 kilograms. So this thing here, that's the size of my hand for comparison. So this is about 18 centimeters in length. And then as you can see the killer whale, they're about the same length. In real life, I think the killer whale is bigger. It's, it's not, they're not the same. The killer whale is bigger. And here as you can see the killer whale is only one centimeter longer. But it weighs a lot more. It weighs 0 0.21 kilograms. But yeah, they're pretty heavy. Actually, yeah, this is way heavier than this. I don't know why they are about the same size, but the killer whale weighs a lot more. So almost twice the weight of the great white shark. But in real life, yeah, the killer whale is a lot longer than the great white shark. And then that's look at this shark is very accurate in terms of the look um, yeah everything looks great um, this is um, hard this plastic is kind of hard and there's no movable jaw that's one of the let down so this jaw the mouth you cannot open it or close so it just stays like that so Yep, although you can see, you know, from this angle, it looks like it can open and close, but no. Same for the killer whale. This is the only pose for the mouth. So you cannot open or close. It's not a movable jaw. So it just stays like that. So the killer whale, again, very heavy, very hard. If you throw, if you throw this at somebody, that person is gonna get hurt. <laughs> both of these so this is soft of course the fins are soft so this is the back view now you can kind of see why the killer whale is heavy a lot heavier it's actually a lot fatter <laughs> it's bulkier from the top yes yeah, slightly longer than the great white shark and then now let's look at the next one which is the whale shark the so whale shark this is the size comparison between the whale shark and the killer whale. So actually, this is pretty accurate in terms of the size uh, compared to real life. Because the whale shark is slightly longer. It's longer than the killer whale. And yeah, it's, it's about that much longer. So it's pretty accurate. So the only not accurate is the great white shark, which is pretty long. A bit too long. 
but um, it's actually not as fat as the killer whale it's quite slender um, and now look at here in fact it's true the the whale shark weighs only 0 0.18 kilogram so it's actually lighter than the killer whale but it's longer it's 23.4 centimeters so it's about four centimeters longer than a killer whale but it's lighter but in real life the whale shark i think is heavier than the killer whale so this is one thing that is not accurate but the length wise is quite accurate and this is a beauty look at it look at the, the scale on this shark the skin it's very it's highly detailed compared to this two these two are kind of bland because it's just one color or two black and white gray and white and this is with uh the spots you know and again the mouth cannot be moved so it, it's not a movable jaw it just stays like that so its mouth is always like that and this one is not is a you know you cannot put anything inside so it's not hollow it's not empty it, it just that's the end you know so but it's very accurate again very detailed e even inside the mouth yeah, and again, pretty heavy, but not as heavy as the killer whale. But yeah, it's very, very accurate in terms of the looks and the the biology. You know, it's very accurate. It's very scientifically accurate. The shape, you know, everything is very nice. So this is the size compared to my arm. It's about twenty-four centimeters. It's almost a foot long and then the next one is the sperm whale as you can see it's very bulky so this is the comparison between the uh, sperm whale and the whale shark so as you can see is again slightly longer than the whale shark which is accurate and a lot heavier and the thing is this one is actually a male is a male sperm whale not a female because as you can see this one actually has a movable jaw you can open this jaw so it has teeth on his lower jaw so this is a male sperm whale and yeah I like it because as you can see you can open and close his mouth just like the purple dinosaurs so as you can see the mouth is a little bit pink and then the teeth I like this I like this sperm whale a lot I think it's my favorite but I mean it's just one color you know compared to the whale shark but um, I like it again very scientifically accurate in terms of the shape you know and this is very very heavy this is way heavier than any of these so um, it says it weighs 0 0.39 kilograms so it's very heavy and this is about 26 centimeters in length so about two centimeters longer than the whale shark but i think in real life the sperm whale is a lot bigger than this the male one at least so it should be longer for the sperm whale and also it should be a lot heavier than the whale shark and then the last one the again my favorite one is the giant blue whale so this thing is huge now let's take a look this so you can see is way longer than the sperm whale it's almost a third longer i would say a third a third longer than the sperm whale it's very long very slender so this is accurate actually compared to the sperm whale so the blue whale is about 100 feet long and the sperm whale is around maybe 60 feet so this is kind of accurate actually this is this is how much bigger than the blue whale is compared to the sperm whale so it's very very big this is the size of my arm it's actually longer than my arm as you can see here 
very very big toy or model so the blue whale weights 0 0.59 kilograms it's very heavy and its length is 38.5 centimeters so it's over a foot long it's almost 40 centimeters long compared to only uh, 26 centimeters so it's 13 centimeters longer than the sperm whale so for the blue whale again it has a movable jaw so you can open this giant mouth as you can see here so I like it a lot of detail it's a, it has a pink tongue and they are very very it's highly detailed so So only the big guys have a movable jaw. So only the blue whale and sperm whale has a movable jaw. The others, they don't have it. So this is very, <laughs> very heavy. It's like 0 0.6 kilograms. Yeah, you, if you throw this at somebody, you get hurt. That person will get hurt. And then the giant, the fins, you know, those are really, really big very very accurate and the bottom is white in color I like this a lot so let's now let's look again at the size so these two are accurate in terms of size and then so let's say we use the blue whale as the reference let's say this is a hundred feet long so the sperm whale would be correct correct in size but the whale shark should be a bit a little bit shorter or smaller and then the killer whale again should be shorter again and the great whale shark of course needs to be shorter so these two are accurate but this three has to be smaller if you're talking about in in real life so there we have it this is my review of papo sea creatures mainly the sharks the big sharks and the big whales so thanks for watching and have a nice day